Scissor siblings, come see me in Austin, Texas this weekend doing a special stand-up on the spot taping with Matt McCusker, Asana Mod, CJ Landry, Matt Edgar, and a surprise guest. Also headlining a couple shows there. Come see me also in a city near you like Los Angeles, California, San Antonio, Texas, Louisville, Kentucky, Minneapolis, Minnesota, St. Petersburg, Florida, Utah County, Utah, Tacoma, Washington, and more dates to be added at JeremiahWatkins.com. Get those tickets and new merch. Thanks for the support. Dear Stevie, the only way that you are allowed to have this beef jerky is if you go to the dentist ASAP. I really don't like that. Mm. What he said. Okay, I read that. <laughs> Welcome to the Thanksgiving episode of yeah. Scissor Bros. We hope you had a good Thanksgiving and you're having a good Thanksgiving weekend currently. Yeah, man. I'm, I hope you ate great food. I hope you all were with family. Pumpkin pie. Stuffing the whole nine yards, man. I yeah. hope you all did it. What are you eating, Steve? I don't know. What do you mean? Well, I don't know because my mom doesn't really ce celebrate it with oh. the... yeah. She'll probably make some noodles or like some, you know, mm. naengmyeong or something like that. Okay. And Bob usually kind of does his own thing. I'm trying to get him to go to Arizona. So, Bob, come on through to Gilbert, baby. <laughs> Let's do it with mom this year, baby. Yeah, man. <laughs> come on. Come on. Well, how do you usually do it? Uh, Well, Christmas is the bigger holiday in my family. Mm. So... Thanksgiving we usually spend with my wife's family, mm -hmm. uh, but this year we're going to do a Friendsgiving and mm. uh, just have friends over, people who uh, don't have, if they're living out here and they're not going home to visit their families, mm -hmm. then they're coming over to our place. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be cool. And what's the layout like? You guys get the whole- It's like a big potluck kind of thing. Like everybody's going to bring their own like uh, either dishes or desserts and it's like going to be, everybody's bringing their own food and then like it's going to be a big old smorgasbord. Has there been a- can I give you a hypothetical? Yeah. Um, what if one of your family members brings over like a disgusting plate of whatever? Like, how do you, I mean, do you think they'll know if like they're not, no Dude, one's, it, well, no one's what, picking what, it? What happens is like when you have potlucks, you find out pretty quick who has the best mac and cheese oh. and who has the best dishes because it gets eaten up. And the one that's left over, it's pretty clear that people aren't messing with that one. No, I'm saying... Are there sympathy eaters where the person who brought the dish people will try it, but like there it's it's clear because it's left at the end of the night that dish has a lot of food on it. Still. No, I'm talking about has there been a situation where no one even touches that plate at all at all, and how hurtful would that per would that make the person feel? Um, because I would be hurt. Have you ever made a dish? No. I would, I would just go to Ralph's and buy like a pre-made pumpkin pie. And there you go. But this is a Stevie hypothetical. Do so you like pumpkin how pie? Would you, yeah, I do actually. Me too. With, like a, with the scoop of ice cream? Hell yeah. Oh yeah. But how, um, that would be hurtful, huh? If the person went out of their way to make their, you know, specialty. Yeah. And then no one touches Can it. Can you imagine making a turkey and no one wanting to eat it? The whole thing? That, that's a commitment. Ooh, that would be the most hurtful because that's like the main course. The, Dude, main, that's the course. main course. And, yeah. people, and people are like, it's good. Yeah. Or they just eat like the skin outside. They just like nibble at like just maybe the fat. The fat of it. <laughs> yeah, really, the only way to ruin it is if you like overcook it. Yeah. Super yeah. Dry. How can you ruin it? Or a undercook it. <laughs> yeah. I prefer that. Undercooked? Yeah. No, no. I'm talking about under undercooked it's still frozen yeah <laughs> what if you're eating that person's turkey right and you're chewing into it and then you see like maggots <laughs> what <laughs> happy thanksgiving everybody scissor bros style how would, would can you we do some turkey scissors wait, today hold up, hold up i'm not done <laughs> would, would you pull the person to the side like hey buddy uh i think this is kind of undercooked there's i the, and then you go yeah they're maggots, Michael. Yeah, yeah, there's maggots, Michael. They're worms. That's what you would do? I would pull them to the side. Uh, no, it wouldn't be a pull to the side. It'd be like, 
Would you kick the person out of your party? No. Be like, dude. No, we'd be like, that was oh. the last straw, I'd be like, brother. I'm like, uh, you. There's no way of you knowing, but your turkey, you know. Yeah. Got a virus or something. Let's throw it away, and we'll figure out. We'll get something else. Can I give you one more before we do scissors? This is. I just thought of this. What if like the person like in front of you like licks um their fork and goes like this and then you know and eats it and then puts it into the next thing and then like puts your saliva over it like would you say something hey hey, hey. what are you doing what do you mean (laughs) we're all family here you're you're getting your spit all over the the turkey jeremiah i'm your sister i don't care Uh, you know that i don't eat after you (laughs) he's freaking out over nothing mom why are you calling mom? You're a grown woman. <laughs> no, but uh, but you're that's still the, your sister's mom, dude. Do you think that my sister's gonna go, mom, <laughs> mom? Why is he being this oh, way, on. mother? Jeremiah's freaking out over nothing. I'm just using my fork to like sample the food, mother. Yeah, and I don't want your backwash all over the turkey. Are we gonna fight this Thanksgiving? Are we gonna like make it harmonious? Lol, just tell me what section you want of the turkey and I'll gladly cut it for you. What's your sister's husband's name? Andy. Andy! Jeremiah's being a pest. Dude, you've met my sister. She doesn't talk like that. <laughs> but dude, I mean, just I'm trying. Okay. Which you still, it. you never got back to me whether or not, you know. Dude, don't do that right now. It's Thanksgiving. It's a Thanksgiving <laughs> special. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Yeah, you know, I gave yeah. Steve an open offer to hook up with my sister, so we'd be Ooh, real no, scissor don't brothers. Don't do it. I mean, dude, that's like fam- like yeah. This is about family. This, this is, is about, family. about family. Yeah, dude, I have a girlfriend, guys. You know, but back then I did it, and I, you know, and I still wouldn't have done it because it's your sister, dude. Okay. Well, let's let's flip the script. What if I had a you know a sister, and I go, and her name was uh, Lisa Lee, mm-hmm. and she was maybe. Around your age. Does she have your breath? Yeah. Worse. <laughs> Half her. Wait. <laughs> Dude, there's crazy abscesses. Dude, there's, it's like, you know how that one time you smoked my breath in your office and you immediately hand me a, a like a ice cube uh, mint yeah. gum? Yeah, yeah. It was a hundred times worse than that. Oof. It's like shit upon shit upon shit. Oof. Yeah, and she I'll goes, <sighs> and then and then it's it's like one of these things where she has asthma too. So you know how like oh wait hold up dude. So she has asthma and she doesn't breathe out of her nose. So and she's and, a mouth breather. And her mouth is like no, her mouth curls like this, and she goes, <sighs> Jeremiah, <laughs> Jeremiah. It's like that Jamie Foxx character. Yeah, in Living Color. Yeah, or the yeah. So and I'm trying to hook you up up there, and I and I and, and, and in this reality, in, this, in this reality, I don't. I'm not married. You're not married. You don't have a girlfriend. Oh, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd make it happen, dude. You would. You would date my sister. Yeah, I'd tell her to get all those abscess teeth removed so she could. <laughs> but, <laughs> dude, I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that last part, but. Okay, so so how would you navigate through the breath thing? You would just kind of go like this. And you would do uh, it like that. What I would do is yeah. I would um, I would get Listerine for myself, mm-hmm. and I would like doused my tongue with it, and then I just like, and then I like like when we were making out hardcore, yeah. I would just like be, and then like when if I but do that with your tongue again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's fine I would start to yeah. and then when I'd start to taste her horrible breath I'd chug more Listerine and then start making out with her where it starts spilling into her mouth and it'd get all sloppy and stuff like that okay, and that's then that fine. way is like she starts like de- getting doused in Listerine okay I have another curveball though okay you make it past that yeah now it's time to go downstairs down south yeah and you I don't like talking to, like, about your way, about my sister. sister but you go down there and you pull down her pants and it's Chewbacca Central. So it's Chewbacca. What if I pull down her pants and uh, I hear just uh oh hot dog as I pull down? Okay, you hear uh oh hot dog and it's Chewbacca Central. Yeah. And there's like these um, fleas. Oh my, like, Steve! Bzz, 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 what the frick, man? Bzz, 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 bzz. 
she's <laughs> and she's dead. <laughs> yeah, like where? What is? Where and is this goes, hypothetical going? And, and then you go, oh, what's what's going on with your hygiene? And she goes, oh, I I don't shower. So, I don't pay that don't shower, Jamai. So, in this timeline, <laughs> your sister still has a thick Korean accent. <laughs> yeah. You we and Bob her, don't. Well, have you seen, you've seen Pulp Fiction, right? Yeah. Remember, like how the, where the gimp lives. What is, dude? Way to start off this Thanksgiving episode. <laughs> this is the same Thanksgiving special, baby. Okay. What are you? What are you asking me? What are you? What is? I'm that? just saying. How do you navigate through that? You you'd still date my sister? I mean, you keep throwing so yeah. many things at it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Stevie way, though. Yeah. You, are you? Yeah. But you're cool adding. with me dating her. Yeah, okay. I mean, you just you treat her with respect. And yeah, dude, I'd, I'd yeah. get her a manscaped, and you know, as far as the Chewbacca yeah, situation, with the fleas, yeah, yeah. But then you notice that oh, <laughs> you notice that when you so you end up living with her, and she has a thing that kind of like it, it. At first, you didn't take notice, but like. Every time she takes a shit, she like wants you to be in the bath. She and she like opens the door and she goes, Jamaya, <laughs> Kaisai here. And then she it hurts so much that she she needs to squeeze your hand. Would you be able to cope with that? It's just turning into Steve's fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then she she goes, Oh, it hurts. Ja- <laughs> what is Jamaya, what is wrong with squeeze you? My hand, Jamaya. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that you want me to hold your hand while you take a poop? Not me, my sister. Oh, okay. This is a Stevie hypothetical. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And then on top of that, she doesn't. Brian, later in the episode, wait, wait, Steve wait, wait, wait. brings up that he has he has pube fleas. <laughs> no, 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 that's not the case. On top of that, you, she doesn't like to flush. No, Jamai, don't flush. <laughs> so you can't flush it. She likes to keep it in. It's like, to her, it's like a piece of art. <laughs> this is barely a human person at this point. No, there's weird things like that people do out there. How would you deal with that? Dude, this is alternate reality, Jeremiah. Sure. I'd figure out a way. Life finds a way. What if she wants to salvage the stuff the fecal matter? Okay, dude. And the urine. Okay. No, it's good still. <laughs> Keep it like I feel in these in these Tupperware like at things. At this point, you're purposely no, dude, trying to piss me no, off now. Not, no, because it just keeps dude. getting more gross. And I already said that this is a Thanksgiving episode. What are y'all thankful for? This is our Thanksgiving Thank special. You. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. This is, I have fun doing that stuff. When dude, we, I know, yeah. but it's just like, and then and then she has a booger that pops, and then you find out that inside the booger is the baby that she hasn't given birth yet to. That, that wait, wait, wait. I have another one. You just you just planted another seed. Instead of the the poo thing and the bathroom thing, she has a thing where she digs deep in her nose, and when when you think she's not looking, and that's her favorite treat. Is eating our boogers, dude. Let's do some scissors. <laughs> okay, let's do some scissors. Are you gobbling at home with us? We hope you are. Uh, yeah, dude, I got, I have a, um, a purchase. What do you mean you have a purchase? Oh, I did notice when you walked in that I've dude. never seen you wear those before. Wow, that was a little <laughs> passive aggressive. What do you mean? I spent a hundred and ninety dollars on these shoes. Oh, you got robbed. <laughs> We're gonna have to reset this thing up. You spent a hundred and ninety dollars on shoes, and you don't have teeth, <sighs> dude. Check these out, bro. Dude, these are. I got these. Uh, shout out to Brain Dead on Fairfax. Do you know that old movie theater where they used to show old movies? But it's like yeah, on this Fairfax? co-op thing where they have. 
um, you know, they show um, movies and they have like, they sell vinyl upstairs. But these are brain dead. Oh, they're called Hawk Saws. And um, what do you, aren't they cool? They're, you know, it reminds me of like 80, uh, 90s, like uh, hiking boot, all terrain shoes. Yeah. 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 I don't know why they're so expensive though. Yeah, me neither. But even my girl was saying that, you know, like all those hype beast kids on Fairfax, like they look at brain dead, like the new shit, like, you know how people looked at Supreme. Is that why you bought it? No, I had no idea any of the, I just thought they were cool. And I'm like, wow, these are kind of remind me of these Nike hiking boots that I had in the nineties. They know? do remind me of, uh, even a but, pair of Nikes that I had in the nineties. Some these? purple, so I had some purple Nikes that I loved in the, in the, in the and 90s. I really like, and then this kind of, um, it's like a waffle. Yeah, this kind of um, or well, rest in peace the arc light. But remember the um, the main movie theater, the the honeycomb thing on the yeah. ceiling. Yeah, I'm like, whoa, that the rem- dome, baby. Yeah, the dome. It reminded me of the um, arc light theater. But dude, they kind of tax me a lot. That's a lot of money for a pair of shoes, huh? How much was it after taxes? Hundred ninety something three. Oh 100. my goodness! Why did? Yeah. What, what? What do you think, Ryan? You like them? Yeah, they're much more yellow in person than they appear on camera. For those watching uh, on camera, they're like pale. They're actually like yellow, proper yellow in person. Oh, on camera they look uh, white, like more pale. More pale? Yeah. No, they're proper yellow. Yeah. Um, I just don't know the, how they came out. Uh, c- came up with the pricing on it. Like I. Yeah, I don't it, know either. <sighs> I have no idea. How where are they, they made? Does it say where they're made? Um, no, but the tongue is thick and it's a brain dead collab. Get yours today at brain dead. They have like some, uh, cool Oof. things. Oof. They so cool. Like they have like indie records upstairs. I'm going to say that. Yeah. I, I like them. Is that the most you've ever spent on? Yeah, shoes? that's definitely hands down. I haven't spent anything remotely close to the amount I spent on Dang, these. man. I just thought, you know what? I could, you know. You want to treat yourself. Yeah, I haven't. I, the most, you know, like I wear Sacconis. Those are like $40. Is that the last, is this the this most? This is the most I'll probably ever spare on a pair. Is this the biggest, what's the last big purchase that you made? Shoe wise? Yeah. Oh, the, those linings. Remember those other weird looking ones? Uh, those sneakers that I got off. Yeah, those are like 120, aren't they? Yeah, they were like a hundred and yeah, 20. The linings. It's, cool. it's like the um, Chinese, it's like the. Chinese version of Nike, you yeah. know? Mm. Yeah. So have you heard of Lightning? Yeah, yeah, of course. Remember we talked about it even like yeah. like maybe Those last cool. year or something. Yeah. What's the most you've spent on a pair of shoes? Mm. Like the for the LeBrons or something like that. Um well I bought those in Canada, so that was a Frugal Brothers hack. Oh, really? I brought. Uh, did I not tell you I bought shoes in, when I was in Canada? I don't think you have. Did I tell you? Th- is this a frugal? Is this a frugal brother hack? Recently? Can- yeah. I'm no. I- okay, so when I was in Winnipeg, here comes the frugalness. Um, what you can do is you can go to the Nike outlet store when you're in Canada, and it's already an outlet store, so it's already lower. But the exchange rate. As a frugal bro, oh my! God. Basically, it gets lowered. You get even more bang for your buck. So I got LeBrons for like just under a hundred bucks, brand new. How much are they normally? One hundred fifty or one hundred seventy after taxes. So you save seventy dollars. Yeah. Frugal brother tips one oh one. Speaking again, of frugal brothers, do we have any more frugal brother tips this week? We got some good ones. We do. I saw the email. It's I my just saw the, the emails that came in. That's your new. It's favorite? It's my new favorite. It's fun. It is. Yeah, fun. it's fun. All right, let's get into this. The first one comes from Ryan, not me, but Ryan Kim. Uh, let's see. They're watching from Germany. Frugal dude. Bros hack. Heck yeah! Hell yeah, dude! Guten Shout out Morgen. to Germany, dog. Ryan in Germany. Yes. Yeah. Whenever uh, you go to a public bathroom, make sure to bring a backpack and take some extra rolls if they have some on the side. Saves money, time, oh and more opportunities my God. to wipe. <laughs> Dude, what the frick? Dude, that's Those the best. Those do things a little differently in Germany, huh? That's the best one I've heard so far. Yeah, that's where you're going to start getting your your toilet papers from public restrooms? Because some of them are still in the wrapper. Now, I want to... <laughs> yeah. Now, this is a debate I think that, that we should have in the comments. 
Does that count as a Frugal Brothers hack? Or, or is, is that theft? just stealing, baby? That was a criticism we got in the comments. There was somebody who's a who was a restaurant owner or manager that would have to like look out for people like that because they'd come and like kind of just like nickel and dimes of business, right? Like I think that there's Well, I well, go to Starbucks all the time. I take so much of their napkins. I guess it I mean it's they but are I for you. Well, hold up. There's a difference because I know where they, they keep their main supply still wrapped. There's a thing. At, I'm not going to say what Starbucks I go to, but there's a cupboard thing that they open, and I know how anonymity, to open it. Anonymity, anonymity, anonymity. And then I, can, anonymity. I could, if I was stealing, I would take the whole darn well, thing. the napkins isn't like, you're just taking too much, but it's not stealing. Yeah, stealing. you're still a customer. You're, you're yeah. not just walking in, taking all the napkins and leaving, are you? Well, there's times when... I'll walk by In N Out Burger and I'll I'll scope out the line, and then if the line's too long and then that pisses me off, I'll spitefully go inside In N Out Burger and grab like a I would just grab a whole chunk of napkins like this much and then I just go like that and then you leave yeah <laughs> because because the line is too long, dude. Frugal Brothers tips. Okay, one on one. Right. It's up to you guys whether to take them or leave them. I, hey, you know dude, I mean? take shout out to Germany. That was genius. I'm going to definitely start implementing that one. Because I think of it like this. If it's a big corporate, like, dude, that's a huge corporation. Starbucks, it's like, what's a few missing napkins, right? Yeah, Good someone else you. actually sent that one in as well. They yeah. just sent a picture said, this is free toilet paper yeah. from inside the bathroom. And right. I know where they keep it, too, because there's certain ones where... In the public bathroom. All right, next there's, one. Hold up, there's a main <laughs> roll in the main public Dude, bathroom. Steve and if you look take... above it, there's one that's still in the wrapper. So all you got to do is stick your hand and take the one above the, the one that's open. Dude, Steve is going to steal the industrial roll ones, and then he's going to try to put it on his little hook. <laughs> He's going to just bathroom. keep re-rolling it. It's going to be way too big. Yeah. He's like, I've been doing that. Yeah. Dude, thank you, Germany. We love you for that. That's good. Yeah. Okay, next frugal bros tip, please. All right. Similar to the uh, kids meal online from Chipotle, I order a kid's deal at the movies gives... Oh, at, yeah. Kid's meal at the movies gives you a decent-sized bag of popcorn or drink and candy. So if you're scared to sneak things in, you can get this deal for around 10 bucks. Okay. The kids, the kids value pack? Yeah. You, you order it online though, right? No, no. You just do it there. Oh, okay. But what if you're the 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 worker and you're like, you're not a kid, obviously. And what if you're not with a kid? I mean, like my kid's inside the theater. There you go. Good one. There you go. Okay. Good one. All right. Curious about the next one. All right. Frugal hack. Well, let's not rush through these. Let's like really marinate. I, I don't. I feel like you're right. I want to really marinate each and every. I want to give it are as you much. Building, are you building attention? Out, okay. Are you building out the hypotheticals in every single one? Is that no, what you're no? No, that's to not do? what I'm doing. But I like how your brain kind of goes to that because you're kind of that's that was clever. No, I want to give them the respect <laughs> that these frugal <laughs> tips that the, the, they deserve that the time. You know, I mean, how much more time do they need? I we know, got I it. know, but it seems like you're just like, okay, next one, next one. I want to like really you discuss want, it. I like want to. No, I want. I like discussing each and every single one. It's like because it's fascinating to me because it's like they took the time to write it out, okay. send okay. the email. Okay, so that okay. So do you get us um a icy with that? Is there ones with the icy? I don't know. I'm okay, not, all right. Let's just go I, on to the I'll next one. It. Okay. Ooh, that felt good. It really. <laughs> marinating that that extra beat <laughs> it, the, it for, does for me for, for that icy question for me i'm sorry i just did that i just did that no, no 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 just, no no no, no. i know that was a bad oh, add-on oh that was yeah, good all right oh i like G that give him the icy oh, freeze no no no, you, no no you're being hey, an asshole you know what Ryan, now let's you're being go an back asshole to the germany one you're one being more an asshole time. now dude don't do that and you know what and i'm thankful for your honesty on yeah. this thanksgiving special <laughs> yeah, okay <laughs> All right, so uh, his favorite. Slow it, don't, don't rush slow it. it down. Slow it down, slow Ryan. It down, slow it down, bro. down brother. Read it slow. Read it slow. Can he uh, go to In and Out, order a fry, and you can add any of these ingredients grilled onion, chopped raw onion. Can you speed up a little bit? Ketchup, mustard, spread. Pickles, chilies, 
load it up with all that stuff, still be the same price. For free? Yeah. Wait, how? You just add, ask for that stuff. You can get spread, of course. Grilled onions, but animal but, style. Yeah, but animal style is, is extra. Is extra. Yeah, but uh, they say you. Can, they do this all the time. You can ask for grilled onions, just grilled onions. But animal style has spread cheese and grilled onions. So, could, so you're saying I could go there and ask with my combo meal? Can you put grilled onions on my French fries? Yeah, that's what they said. Give it a shot. Wow, that's great. That's okay, dedicated that, to you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Who is that? Kenya. Ken Dog from Las Vegas. Thank mm. you. Shout out to Las Vegas, Kenya. That's a great one, dude. Remember when that lady of the night said that, that she was a... a <laughs> lady, lady, of night, lady, lady of the night. Lady of the night. Lady of the night. She loves all our content. Lady <laughs> of the night. Dude, yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> if you guys... Uh, it's an old Scissor Bros <laughs> Vegas episode. From back in the day, uh, Steve ran into a lady of the night, and uh, she was a fan. She was a fan of Steve's. It was a pretty beautiful moment. Lady of the night, what's the next frugal? Tip? All right, this one comes from Carlo in Austin. Yeah, Carlo. Okay. Said so download the McDonald's app. It has a couple of deals that are always available. One deal is buy one get one free Big Mac, what? quarter pounder, or ten piece nuggets. You can get. A Big Mac and a 10 piece for five bucks. The other deal is you get a free medium fry with a one dollar purchase. So if you order a double cheeseburger or a McChicken for two bucks, you ask for water, you're getting a meal for two dollars. Yo, that's a great yeah, That's more on app. you. You go to McDonald's. McDonald's don't you? app. I'm going to have to download that, even though it's probably going to make me feel a certain type of way about my life that I have the McDonald's app on my phone. After yeah. And does that pertain to breakfast specials? I, I assume. Because I, I like their breakfast. I do. I know I, you do. Yeah. I do when like we go their breakfast. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good, yeah. I like, they have great breakfast. Yeah. Okay. Can we do six of these instead of five? <laughs> I, lo I love this segment. I know. Okay. I love okay. it. We'll do six because it's Thanksgiving, yeah, baby. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Ryan, what we got? All right. Well, this one comes from John. Uh, it doesn't say where he's at. It says, uh, instead of wasting money on expensive ear pods, simply think of your favorite song and hum it. <laughs> I like, I like that. I know you would. I like that because your boy I, I lost you his AirPods and he did not replace them. You did? Yeah. When did this happen? Tragic. Hold up. Tragic. When did this happen? Hold Months on. This ago. Is Everybody. Terrence, Gerald, <laughs> shut up. Gerald, I, I what do you think about say. him losing his AirPods, Gerald? Well, I don't think losing your AirPods is that big of a deal when you all have lost your damn minds months ago. I know, buddy. Yeah, it happened months ago and I haven't replaced them then. It happens. You might be having another pair do this Christmas coming your way. Right, Ry? Maybe. I don't they're pretty expensive. Um He so, just spent hundred and ninety dollars on shoes. Some AirPod Pros ain't shit to Stevie Weeby. Rank control, baby. I don't have a lot of expenses. <laughs> <laughs> My expenses are low. Hashtag rent control, baby. <laughs> you did tell me your rent recently and I was flabbergasted. I forgot that it was that low. And that's a frugal bros tip. Stay in the same place for thirty years, dude. I haven't been. It wasn't. It hasn't been that long. It's about. It's been about twenty something. See, I don't like the way you're exaggerating things. This episode, don't exaggerate. What do you mean? Call I'm not exaggerating. I wasn't there for thirty years. I'm not it's been twenty something years. Okay. You wouldn't have moved either if your rent was that low. I promise you, I'm not exaggerating. It wasn't 30 years. It hasn't been 30 years. I've stayed incrementally at the places while I've been out here in LA for five-year increments. That's it? I've stayed at only two other places. The first place I stayed was five years. The second place I stayed was five years. I'm right now in year three of my current place. So, so you we'll out see. Two more years are out? Well, we'll see what my trajectory is oh, like. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe, okay. maybe another couple of years. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? But I actually really like where I, I, I love the Dude, have you the have a great in the spot. I you got a washer the, and dryer. I know. I'm grateful. God, it's great. 
You still never took me up on doing laundry over here. Yeah. Or spending the night. I wouldn't want to do that to your family. Why? Because you guys are always doing laundry. I don't want to like bring a load of laundry over here and you do You can do it while we do the podcast. I don't care. You know what I used to do at Jamba Juice? Mm. Hold up. Let just, let's put a bookmark on this. Um, cause they had, a, they had a washer dryer. So each shift. They had I a washer would, dryer. Oh, for the employees in the back. In the back. This is when you worked at John Okay. Yeah. Right. So I would just do <laughs> loads of laundry during my shift. Would you really? Yeah. That's funny, they have, dude. They have, that's a frugal brother that tip. That is a frugal brother Hold tip. Hold up. Jamba Juice employees. If you, or, or if yeah, there's a washer dryer at tip, your bro. job in general. Bro. Put it in with the aprons and the other yeah. stuff. Yeah. Just put it all in there. Put your and laundry they, you in You don't there. have to bring detergent. They have their own job. Yeah, they have of, their own detergent. Of course they do. Yeah. That's a good one. Yes. Dude, that, yep, there you go. Yeah. All right, this is the actual one from John, which is only go number two at work. You not only save money on toilet paper, but you get paid for it too. That's a great one. And when I worked at Starbucks, I did that all the freaking time. I would give myself uh, IBS all the time, like by drinking tons of milk at Starbucks, and then I'd be in the bathroom for like 20 minutes. Squeezing, che squeezing cheese? Not even cheese, brother. The whole block. Really? <laughs> yeah. Scissor Brothers! Manscaped is my boyfriend. Manscaped is a god. Manscaped is the breeze in my hair on the weekend. Manscaped is a relaxing thought. Taylor, are you done singing yet? I'm practicing for my world tour, Travis. Oh, well, guess what? What? Manscaped is here. And you should get the new performance package. That's right. And you get all this cool stuff too. The crop soother. And then all kinds of goodies in this box. Yeah, this is to trim your nose hair. There's the lawnmower. There's all kinds of stuff. It's even packaged similar to my re-releases. So get yours today, right, Travis? Yeah. You can get 20% off. Plus free shipping at manscaped.com if you use the code Scissor Bros. That's code Scissor Bros when you go to manscaped.com and you get 20% off plus free shipping. Because Manscaped is a guy. Manscaped is a lot of things. Also, this is good for like after you, you shave, you, your nuts will be smooth for your girl. Now it's time to hit the showers, Travis. Really? Yeah. Will you shave my pubes? Yeah! I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> None for a camera. Oh my God. Look at that shirt. It might be the best merch ever. Where can you get it for a limited supply time thing? At jeremiahwatkins.com Where's that? Get it now at jeremiahwatkins.com. Go. But is there something <clears throat> to taking a shit in your own place, like the comfort? And the no, no. There's something about doing it at work and getting paid for it. It feels way better. Taking a shit at work? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, you never used to do that? Oh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, every job. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially at Coffee Bean because I got free coffee the whole shift, so I'd yeah. be down in. Did I tell you that I did a um, uh, like an AA sober living show, and there's a Scissor Bros fan that was a uh, uh, like a Scissor sibling that was in the. Is that through Zane? Yeah, I did his show. Yeah, there's... Zane hired me. Yeah, Zane. Yeah. He runs a show in the Valley. There was dude like 300 people there. And they were very, they're so nice and they're, they're like grateful. They're like, dude, thank you so much for coming. I was like, yeah, really? thank you guys for like, so that's doing the a program. whole different market for you. Sober livings and rehab. I centers. mean, yeah, I'd never done it before. Yeah. Yeah. I was just at a, um, I just spoke at a meeting last night and, um, yeah, the, they're, they're everywhere. They, they're everywhere. Yeah. I was pretty happy. So shout out to Awakenings uh, Rehab Center in oh, Agora Hills. Heck yeah. Know. It's a dual diagnosis gnostics thing where it's mental health people who are you know have mental health and addiction so yeah. it's like a dual diagnosis it was cool thing. Yeah. it was a lot of people i'll tell you one of the most diverse shows i've done in a minute what was the clientele like was it mostly like 20 year olds or 
all we're talking all, all walks ages, of life all walks of life all ages i said well, i was pretty happy with my opening line i said uh that it looked like the waiting room uh for the office at better call saul <laughs> for the audience because <laughs> it was That's like fun. it was very like diver were there like grannies i'm dude i'm telling you old people young people tatted up bikers like 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 former you know recovering addicts yeah. and different stuff like all walks of life but some was people it, that look alcoholic? business looking people some people that looked like they've had harder times yeah, than others it, yeah. was, it was all it was very um it was cool how uh how, how they were like so stoked on the show they were like a great audience that's great yeah, yeah. That, shout out to zane for hiring yeah. me yeah love zane yeah yeah let's just do all of them i feel like we're kind of just do all of them no, we got some other stuff. I got some oh, other okay, stuff. Okay, stuff okay, that, okay. That, um, I, I think that dude, that was a great segment. Yeah, yeah. and also just keep seeing, sending those in scissorbrosprod@gmail.com. at pod at gmail dot com. Mm. Yep, frugal tips. Some of yeah. you are writing like essays. It don't need to be that long because that is not easy to read on the show. <laughs> just send a little quick tip, and that will suffice. Yeah, yeah. How long? What What's been the longest email? Um, like a whole page. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's, that's not, I don't even think that's the longest one, but there's multiple. Dang. It's been a minute since we went to the P.O. Box. Office. Uh, if you want to send in oh. stuff to the P.O. Box, mm. uh, you can do that uh, to Jeremiah Watkins slash SB P.O. Box number 78375, mm. Los Angeles, California, 90016. And this one comes from our scissor sibling, Zachary Carlson. And I definitely forgot to to open it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> just throw it sticks right in my eye. Is it from where is he where is he sending it from? What state? Uh Rosenberg, Texas. All right, shout out to Texas. Yeah. Hell yeah. Can I guess what it is? Sure. That's some beef jerky, baby. You think so? Yeah. That's what you think it is? Just because it's from Texas? I don't That's know. That's what he hopes it is. You know what? I'm hoping that there's some chewing tobacco in that motherfucker. <laughs> there might be. You never know. It is from Texas. Ooh. Send me some grizzly, baby. Dude. How did you know, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> it's Bucky's jerky. Bring it over. Throw me one, baby. Whoa. Yeah, baby. How did Dude. I? Dude. It's teriyaki. Dude, I was Hot and spicy board. and garlic, man. That's some scissor ESP yeah, that you had. Dude, was I on point You were or on what, point, brother? dude. That's the first thing I said, baby. Oh, man. That's so nice, dude. Yeah, baby. That's so nice. No oh, look. And then there's a nice Read scissor, it up, scissor uh, letter we that, that comes with this. We love Bucky's, baby. Dude, we really do. And we love jerky. It's so funny that you called it, dude. Yeah, baby. All right. There might be some chewing tobacco at the bottom of that box. Okay. Check the bottom, Jeremy. There might be some chewing tobacco in the bottom. Okay, this is a good letter right here that we got. Oh, damn. <laughs> but this is great. For Jeremiah and Stevie. Dear Stevie, the only way that you are allowed to have this beef jerky is if you go to the dentist ASAP. I really don't like that. Mm. That's what he said. Okay, I read that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no thanks in that, though. This is okay, the this is what it for real there, says. There's well, no but thanks you, in that. But your face was what, pretty what are, good. What are, what are, this is what he actually said. He said, for Jeremiah and Stevie, I know how much both of you love beef jerky, and I wanted to send y'all some of my favorite flavors from Bucky's. I'm such a fan of the podcast and have seen every episode except the ASMR one. Oh. <laughs> Thank you both for all the positivity you spread, and please know that you both bring so much joy and laughter into the world. Jeremiah, I have also seen all the Kill Tony episodes, and a lot of my favorites are the older ones with all of your characters. Oh, that's very nice. nice. Scissor bro for life from your bro Zach from Texas. Zach, yeah, thank you so much, dude. dude. What a what a nice um, letter and gift to receive on the Thanksgiving episode. And I notice he sent three because I think one goes to Ryan, yeah, one goes they, to Steve, and one goes to me. That's so right. what's the flavor that you want to choose, I'm a, my friend? I'm a teriyaki guy. I want to keep this one. Okay, then I'll keep the hot and spicy yeah. one. Can, you, can we try so? Can we try? Can we try? A Great piece? catch! Can that, we try that a piece floated. right now just to test drive it? It's a little funky in the mics with no, the. No, chew on the side. I'm really feeding this. 
He willed it into existence, Jeremy. You okay? I okay, owe you that. Okay okay. 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 Let's all, you know, we have a a quick piece. Don't worry, guys. I'm but don't squirrel Steve. it like you do no, sometimes. No, don't worry about you gotta, you gotta swallow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, this is actually the texture is. It'll be easier to 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 chew than some other jerky. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, dude. This is fantastic. Thank you, Zach. Wow. Dude, I can't believe you called that. That was crazy. Texas. Yeah. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Dude, I want to tell you about a couple things. What? Okay. Your scissor brother, guys, is in a new animated movie. Yes. Really? Mm hmm. Yes. What's it called? And how do we watch it? Mm hmm. First of all, are you a fan of Run the Jewels? Yes. I'm in this movie with Killer Mike. Really? Mm-hmm. That's a big deal, dude. Mm-hmm. He's the lead. Killer Mike? Mm-hmm. Yo, shout out shout out to Run the Jewels. Mm-hmm. What was the auditioning process like? So I'll tell you about it. So That's a big um, deal, bro. this this movie, um, it's it's on Tubi. And if you haven't heard of that, I was even skeptical myself of how you download it and all that stuff. I'm oh, Tubi's the best, dude. I downloaded Didn't the I app. Did I talk about Tubi? I've talked about it. You've, like last you mentioned year. it, yeah, but I didn't follow through. Um, <laughs> Tubi, I literally downloaded the app like you do on your Apple TV or your Fire Stick or your Roku, whatever, and um, you can download it and literally 90 seconds be watching the movie. You don't have to sign in with an email address. You can sign in as a guest. Yeah. And you just start watching the movies and TV shows for free. So I highly encourage you Dude, guys to download the free app great. and watch the movie for free. It's called Big Bruh. It's on Tubi. B-I-G-B-R-U-H. Like, bruh. Like, what's yeah, up, bruh? When do you start filming that? Um, Earlier in the year. is actually one of the fastest... Uh, turnarounds for a project that i've been a part of as far as like movies and tv yeah, goes yeah did um what was the auditioning process like so my buddy wrote it shout out to jaron horton mm -hmm. um he i've worked with him on some other projects over the years uh, uh he's a <laughs> hilarious stand-up comedian paid regular at the comedy mm -hmm. store and uh he knows that i do tons of different characters and different voice acting and stuff like mm -hmm. that so he had me audition for a few roles, and um, wow. they ended up casting me for I I'm two different voices in the in the movie. Is it a is it a character work or is it? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I do two different voices. I mean, <clears throat> if I told you who I am, you'd be. Is a, it a cartoon? It's not a cartoon. Yeah, it's a cartoon. Oh, it's a cartoon. It's an animated movie. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was okay. It was an animated movie. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 And what's his character like? Is he like? So Killer Mike is basically uh uh. This guy named Money Montez Sheffield. He's like this nice. heavyweight boxer. Yeah. And uh, basically, uh, the the crux of the movie is the guy. He's he's fighting for the heavyweight title, mm -hmm. and the guy who he goes up against kneels during the boxing match because mm. he's like, "You're not a good person. I don't even want to like be associated with you at all." And so it's this journey of this guy trying to prove to this other guy that he's a good enough person, so he'll box uh, and, and win the title appropriately that's cool so he goes to this program uh that's called um like uh like you know like big brother it's called big bra like mm -hmm. big bras of america gotcha. kind of thing so he he uh develops a relationship with a kid there who the girl ends up this young girl ends up teaching him more about himself and it's oh, a cool, fun comedy dude. and i'm my my main character in is Louie, the counselor at the Big Bra program. So I'm like telling him about the yeah, program and like getting so him cool. in. And, yeah. yeah. Dude, congrats. Definitely support that today on Tubi. Yeah. Big Bra on Tubi. And there's a lot of comedians in it. It's uh it's so I'm in it with Killer Mike, but dude, uh Byron Bowers is in it, Fahim Anwar is in it. I was it. just gonna say Fahim. Jamar Neighbors is in it, Punky Johnson is in it, Yo, like a so lot of the all, homies. It's all your it's all your uh It's a comedy store, yeah, like it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a comedy it's, store roster. It's, it's really yeah. cool that Jerron um, you know, he put in a, a good word for all of us and then we auditioned and, and it, it happened. Oh, so it's very dope. cool. Yeah. yeah. 
And so how long is the filming process like on a on a project so, like that? Uh, for, for what I did, I, I ended up voicing two characters that uh, are like credited. And then like I did like a bunch of other little like background voices yeah. uh, in it, which I just love being in the booth and doing that stuff. Like to me, like I have so much. Is it an adrenaline rush? It is a little bit because you you know what it, it's um for me I think a lot of people's introduction to voiceover is that scene in Mrs. Doubtfire when Robin Williams is is uh, voicing the cartoon at the beginning of the movie. Mm. I think as a kid you see that and you think that that's like how it kind of is. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But it's it, it's fun. Like that's crazy. like uh, they throw different you know they give you the script and then they they have you ad lib sometimes or riff or whatever. Oh, that's so cool. And uh, it was just a day's work. It was just like uh, a few he, hours. Oh, you already did it. I yeah, mean, it was earlier this year. It was earlier oh, in the year. Oh, so. Recorded earlier in the year, and then it's out. It literally just came out like like last week. Wow! Yeah. Hell yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Is it a movie? The movie. Oh, okay. It's like a. It's like basically the idea is like a, it's a little over an hour long movie, uh, animated movie that um, they're they're basically wanting to pitch it as that is their like pilot for a series. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. You never know. How's the. Um... It's not it's not huge for something like that. But you got day pay. And no, no, yeah, I got I got paid. It's through to union. Do it. It's no, no. Uni- it's no, it's sa- yeah, sag yeah, it's a sag gig. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a, no big big victory for sure yeah. because it's like a, another legit like animated and it's a credit voice credit. I know it's cool. That's a legit credit. Yeah, yeah. and it, and it's funny. I'm, I'm I I watch it. Uh, with my wife and and we had a good time watching it. And I was like, yeah. it, it turned the I like the animation style in it. It's it's fun. So, yeah. Do you think it was the most satisfying gig that you've had in a while as far as that type of work? It's that's kind of stuff is yeah, um, because you you really don't know the how long the gaps are going to be because already, you know, that like the Joker gig, it's already been like a year and a half, 2 years since that was like out. Like that's like What was a, more fun to work on, the Joker one or this one? Completely different, completely different. Oh, They're right. fun in different, different ways. Different characters. The Joker yeah. is different because, like, that's an iconic role that I grew up with. Yeah. So there's expectations, and there's a little bit more pressure for me to want it to be good in a different way. Where mm-hmm. this is like, I knew that I was going to do well, like based on like what the character was, and it was it was my interpretation. And I and I I sent a couple different voices. I'm like, but this is, they went with my number one choice for what I thought that the two voices, uh, what they should be for the characters right. are like, oh yeah, those are the best, yeah. Are you allowed to, how many takes are you allowed to do until you get it right? Uh, I mean, you try to get it right within the first couple because they want to move on to the next thing. You you don't, you don't you're not really, every if you really want to be like, hey, can I get another take? You can, um, but like, unless you really are messing up or you're not, feeling really good about it then yeah. you usually leave it up to the director to let them coach you right. and be like we got it let's move on because yeah. a lot of actors if it was up to them dude dude it would take the shoot days would take forever oh, because they want it perf- perfect in their mind how they want it, do it yeah perfect. i have this idea that i want to do someday uh and i hope it doesn't get stolen by me saying it but uh i want to do i'll just say it. yeah um you know how they do director's cuts of movies mm. i want to see an actor's cut of uh, a movie oh. because it would be way way different the takes and everything would be way different than what the director chose and like it would be I think longer too because I think want... there's been actors in director's commentary but not like an act like the cast exactly mm. like the cast sits in the editing room and yeah. cuts it together that's yeah. a good idea it'd be interesting yeah. it would take forever though that mm. you know that's that's probably they probably haven't done it it'd be expensive but so be check cool. that out today on Tubi man yeah Tubi that's big bro news, on Tubi yeah. man so how come you, you we, did you have to sign a non-disclosure like you can talk about because you you already knew about this so i i dude i thought that it was going to come out like next year so i wasn't oh, even gonna talk so you about were, it you were and waiting then, and then jerron texted me he's like it's out now i was like what it's oh, out now? So now and then he you could talk so yeah that's cool yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. now i can talk about it so yeah yeah that's that's great news dude that's yeah this is pretty cool yeah 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 man God, I wanted to be Dude, I know. That's why I didn't want to. Oh, I, I know. You keep going for it. <laughs> you know, dude, dude, like, he literally... I'm looking at him on the camera and he just keeps looking at it. Oh, it's so good. The garlic. Oh, man. Oh, I know it is. It's really good. He literally yeah. picked it up and he had the willpower to put it back down. Yeah. It's fantastic. God. Yeah. Not only you got, you can resist the jerky. Okay. And you got some $200 shoes. Steve's changing. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to spend that much on anything for a while. Ah, uh, but that jerky, huh? Fuck. It's really good. The texture and everything's really you guys good. You want to have another break? <laughs> <laughs> so 
Here's what I'll do one for you. Piece, one for piece. you. Let's do a dance break, but with jerky. In so we mouth? have to dance in our seats okay, while we okay, while yeah, we do yeah, the fine, jerky. That's fine. Okay? Yeah. All right? That's yeah, fair. Yeah, one that's last fine. piece. Yeah, that's one last piece. Okay, you ready? Go grab a treat from home, maybe Thanksgiving leftovers, whatever it is, and join in on this dance break. <laughs> This is good. Yeah. Are you dancing home along with us? We hope you got your favorite treat and are treating yourself. Come on, man! It's a holiday weekend. This one's good. Come on, sister siblings. Right? Mm-hmm. Hey, Ryan, are you dancing? Steve is eating right in my ear right now. Oh, Steve. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just going to look weird. Mm. All right. Seal it. It goes back to the rightful owners. Ready? Oh. Nice, dude. Okay. Dude, can I tell you a crazy story that yes. happened in Batavia? Yes. This involves our scissor sibling, Kazo. Okay. Okay. He beat you at pool. Hmm? Did he beat you at pool? This is even crazier. Than beating you at pool? Yeah. All right. Or someone getting shot outside the pool hole? Yeah. So, you know how you've been bringing in books and stuff lately? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? No, I haven't. You know. One book? Yeah. Okay. Cuzzo might have bought me something to ward off the evil spirits. <laughs> really? <laughs> what, let's, the Holy Bible? Let's cut to a clip. Okay, so Cuzzo just brought me a gift, and uh, but he said something that made me a little bit nervous. Okay, go ahead. Well, it's the seal of the seven archangels, because Steve is talking about doing all the like demonic stuff or whatever, and I figured that this one could kind of give you the blessing of like, the angels and everything oh. to where like if Steve is being you know on the <laughs> on the, yeah. the side of evil that Jeremiah can no, that's you know very, that's very bring nice. in to represent the side of good it's just a little, little I'll take that little trinket or thanks, whatever thanks brother oh yeah heck yeah hell yeah how you like that man Cuzzo come on man. yeah man come on come man. on man where did he get that at a Christian bookstore <laughs> I don't know I don't know where he got it exactly uh. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? That was nice. Yeah. Nice little gift. Did that make you feel better? Yeah, I did. Yeah? Yeah. Cleared out the space? Yeah. Okay. So watch yourself, Stevie I know, I know. Okay. I haven't brought it up. I mean... I appreciate it. You haven't. Yeah, that's so, true. But that's not the crazy story. So, Cuzzo comes to my show in Batavia, right? It's uh, the Friday Late Show. He comes, watches, then comes to hang out after. The club's sh shutting down. He, uh, We take... Uh, my stuff back to the hotel to drop off my gear and stuff like that. Then we were referred to a bar that might have a pool table, right? We go to this bar and there's two people that are at the bar that were at the show earlier. And they're like, we can't believe you're here. They're kind of drunk. Like, we can't believe you're here. Like, it's so crazy. Like, what are the odds? And I'm like, yeah. And there's no pool table at this bar. So I'm like, oh, man. And it's getting late, and I'm like, ah, I don't know, even know if I can find another place that's even open because it's in the Midwest. Like, for sure, a lot of stuff is going to for yeah. sure end it too. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, they're like, what are you guys doing here? I was like, ah, I was looking for a pool table, but um, they don't have one here. And the guy looks at me, and he's like, come over to my house. <laughs> I was like, what? He goes, come over to my house. I've got a pool table in the basement. And I look at Cuzzo. <laughs> this is the day you die. And, and and I was like, do we do this? And I, and I looked at Cuzzle like, are you cool with this? He's like, Jeremiah, do you really want to play pool this bad? <laughs> like like that kind of look? Like, I'll do it, but I don't know, man. I look at him and I go, let's make a memory. <laughs> That's the right call. Dude, we went over to this stranger's house. 
<laughs> with him and his wife. Dude, that could have been like a murder case. Yep. Dude. Yep, but I was with Cuzzo, so I felt safer. Like, I wouldn't have done that alone. I don't mm-hmm. think I would have had the balls to do it just alone. Okay. But I, I'm already coming up with so many hypotheticals. Oh, dude, get ready. Get ready. We're going to do some. It's, hi- it's we're going to do it's, some. It might get. My hypotheticals might get a little gay. <laughs> but Shocker. Continue. But continue. Shocker. But continue. We go over to. We, first of all, we go, okay, yeah, we'll go to your house. What's the address? They're like, oh, we'll just tell you where it's at. Can you just drive us? And I look at Kazo again, like, uh, are you okay with these people being in your car? And he's like, ah, uh, yeah, I'll move some stuff. He was being very nice. I am very grateful for Cuzzo for doing this. We drive these people and they just go, keep going down the street. And we're driving for a little bit. First, they said it was a minute. It was a few minutes. It was a few minutes away. But we drive to their place. It's a beautiful house. I with, thought it'd be like the, the cabin in Evil Dead. No. Okay. It's a beautiful house. Yeah. With like five luxury sports cars that are in the garage one is up on a lift this guy is like loaded seriously loaded like with his cars and different stuff and i was like oh this is crazy already and we get into uh their place and we walk down to the basement and there is a moment when we're walking down to the basement where i look at Kazo like are we about to get murdered because they're, yeah it's right down there and i can't see it from <laughs> from where the stairs are at and they're kind of drunk i'm like what if they're pretending they're drunk that's this rich guy's thing you know what i mean yeah what what yeah you don't know like and then we get down there and there was a pool table that was down there nice and uh, we ended up playing for a little bit and then we left around 2 a.m and uh here's a little clip of those people with Kazo and karen and their dog and robert and where where are we geneva yeah there we are there's zero gays here. Zero gays. Here we are. I don't know what that means. Here we are. That's cool, man. Dude, for a minute, I I thought what might happen. Can I tell you what I thought might have happened? You want to say yours first? Go. He goes. They um. So they they bring into the kitchen first. Mm-hmm. And they go. Are hey, you thirsty? And and then you I know you don't drink but you're like yeah and they're like oh you know we got this um you know, and you just ask for a bottle of water but they kept then, offering us energy drinks over and over okay so let's stick with that so he goes yeah these um these energy drinks aren't cold so let me get you a, a glass of ice but then you notice that you don't see him preparing like you don't see him like pouring the energy drink in like this cup with the ice in it. And then so you you start drinking, and then by the time you get down to the um, pool table, you notice that you start getting dizzy. Oh, no. And you're just, so it's kind of like, I don't know if you've been like um, tranquilized, (laughs) but you're you're just like, like when you have the the cue ball stick, you're like missing the ball. Yeah. And you're like, and then Kuzo too, because he's drink. He 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 drank the drink faster than you drank the drink. And then you notice that it starts. The room starts getting like darker and darker and darker, where um, it it gets blurry, but then it just you just kind of black out. And then you wake up and you have your butt naked. And your handcuff, like, so there's like legit handcuffs, like the ankle cuffs and the wrist cuffs. Yeah. And you're basically, oh my goodness. Two hours later. They documented the whole thing. They're like, if we let you go, we're going to leak this onto the internet. Mm -hmm. So you better watch out. What do you do? Would you rather die or stay alive? No, I'd be like, okay, thank you. Bye. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What are you thankful for? <laughs> my my hypothetical was what I thought was going to happen <laughs> yeah. was was the guy might be like, Ugh. hey, man, what do you think of my wife? What? Like a cuck scenario. Mm. That's what I was thinking because it was like, like, <laughs> oh, God, gotcha. more that, more that. I think that's more like, like he wanted you to engage with his wife and him watch 
That's what I joked with Kazo about. Okay, let's stay on that. Um, no, no, no. We've got a challenge. We've got to we <laughs> okay, get okay, into it. Okay, okay. Ryan, right. can we get into the challenge? We can. You don't want to do what you're thankful for first? Okay. Yeah. Just one thing. One Same. thing I'm thankful for? You know yeah. what? I'll say something I'm thankful for. This guy in this room right yeah, here. I'm thankful for you guys, too. Okay. I'm thankful for Scissor yeah. Bros. I'm thankful okay. for the Scissor Siblings. Okay. And I'm thankful for an honest relationship with my brother right yeah, here. Yeah, brother. That he just always says exactly what's on his mind. <laughs> Dude, we and can I edit that, that out. We, we can edit that. that out. We can edit that out. What? I mean, as far as that last scenario. Quit eating. Yeah, I don't know if it's suitable. You're going to need too. it for the challenge. What do you mean? <laughs> All right, just get to it then. What's going on? All right. Steve, you did mention pumpkin pie earlier. <sighs> yeah. Well, today you guys are having a nice pumpkin pie, man. Really? Yeah, dude. Each. We have to eat the whole thing? You guys will have to eat as much of this pumpkin pie as you can. You guys each get one. In a timed amount of, like, however long we decide. All right, it's five minutes. Five minutes. You have five minutes to solo a whole pumpkin pie. Okay. I don't know if I could down a whole pumpkin pie oh, five that's a, I mean, That's, that's the, the challenge. challenge. Oh. It's the five-minute pumpkin pie challenge. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And then the loser, Jeremiah. You're going to love this. Whipped cream. <laughs> Straight to the dome, buddy. In your mouth? Or? In your mouth. But the, losers, but the cans between the legs, brother. Real, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and next, Uranus. No, that's going too far. Okay, yeah. we'll just do it. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like, all right. He goes, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get to this. Okay, brothers. All right, this is the pumpkin pie eating challenge. We have five minutes to see who can eat the most. We both made some smiley faces on our pumpkin pies. My eyes are slanted. <laughs> Steve said that? Okay. Okay. And it's just, you're going to weigh it afterwards? That's how you're going to do it? Yeah, yeah. I weighed them before, and I'll be weighing them. I think it's, it might, oh, but the first person who finishes it wins, right? If yeah. you can finish the whole yeah. thing? Yeah. I think I might be able to do it. Right. Ready? Uh, three, two, one, go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this. Oh my god. He <laughs> just lifted it out mm. of the tin. Mm hmm. Mm. It's a good strategy. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Uh. Oh my god, Steve's also doing that's different. Yeah, cutting it in half. I actually think I would use that strategy more. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mmm. 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 I am thankful for all the scissor siblings with the positive comments on the Japan footage. I appreciate that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four minutes. Oh, wow. You'd have to keep going the same pace to finish everything, Jeremy. Actually, Steve's doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. It gets harder as you go on. Mm -hmm. The hardest wall. Uh, I think I like Steve's strategy always like has it in his mouth. It's just not possible with that much that much pie. 
How you doing, Steve? So a lot of pumpkin pie. I know. You think it'll be sick of pumpkin pie? Yeah. Frick. You thought you were hard. <clears throat> Two and a half minutes. I don't know. I don't know if, I, yeah, I don't see anyone finishing unless someone like. Goes ultra mad mode on it. Hungry mongry, Steve, let's see it. Uh, I'm telling you, it's just like harder to follow, you Yeah. Especially without like something to drink. Yeah. Yeah, I can use milk right now. Two minutes. Did the whipped cream help or make it worse? It helps. It does. I would add more, but Steve said that's cheating. No. <laughs> oh man, this might mess up my Thanksgiving pumpkin plant. One minute thirty. I think I would probably avoid crust. Yeah. It'll kind of dry you out. And all the weights in the filling. Oh, you guys ate way more than I thought you would, though. One minute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so much sugar, too. It's crazy. What does? Yeah. And nutmeg. I think it's gonna make me break out. Oh, I might throw up. I wonder if this thing says how many calories are in that. A lot. 30 seconds. Man, I really hope I was gonna finish this. That's so much though. No trans fat in it though. There is ten seconds. Three, two, one, time. We obviously won. Oh my god. I I just all this is too much. Oh god. I feel Steve. Oh, dude, bloated. Bloated? Yeah. Jeremiah, you feel disappointed? I was hoping I'd finish it. Yeah, he obviously, you don't have to wait. He, he obviously would. Oh, frick. Let's see. Yeah, look, you can tell yourself. I did pretty good. Yeah. More than half. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he won. Yeah, he won. But it's actually not as bad as, as I, like, it's pretty close. Oh. oh, Steve. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, brother. You ready for the punishment? You look really happy I'm right so, now. Dude, it's like, it's like I'm relaxed. I'm chilling. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, it's going to be like a little whipped cream massage. Go ahead, buddy. Mm. Are you going to open? Oh, damn, Jeremiah. What? This is a big load, buddy. <laughs> oh, you got more in there? Holy shit. <laughs> Are you going to try to eat any of it? ending to this Thanksgiving to this Thanksgiving episode thanks so much for tuning in 
We hope you have a great Thanksgiving or had a great Thanksgiving. And we like. Ooh. What are you saying? Oh, he's plugging his album. Where turn us? SteveWeeWee.bandcamp.com. Be safe out there. We love you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>